Arteries are the blood vessels that carry oxygen from the heart to the rest of the body. Oxygen-rich blood allows the organs in our body to work and function appropriately. Cholesterol and fat from our diet can build up and cause deposits, called plaque, in the walls of the arteries. This leads to narrowing or hardening of the arteries, resulting in poor blood flow to organs. Pieces of plaque can even break off in an artery, which can cause a clot to form and further block downstream blood vessels. The buildup of plaque is called atherosclerosis and can lead to atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases, or ASCVD. ASCVD includes diseases like cerebrovascular disease, coronary heart disease, aortic atherosclerosis, and peripheral artery disease, which develop based on which arteries are affected. The early symptoms of ASCVD can be difficult to detect and may even look like other conditions. They also vary by which artery in the body is affected. If a major artery becomes blocked, it can lead to severe and fatal complications like stroke, heart attack, leg pain when walking, ulcers in the feet or legs, and more. While ASCVD can be very serious, it can also be prevented or delayed with effective control of hypertension and diabetes, which are two of the most common risk factors for ASCVD. Unfortunately, communities of color too often experience inequitable access to quality medical care and nutritious food options to help manage these common risk factors. These racial and ethnic health disparities are the cause of significantly higher rates of ASCVD at younger ages of onset in people of color. One of the best ways to prevent ASCVD is to get your cholesterol levels routinely checked. Reducing your LDL, or bad cholesterol, can significantly decrease your risk of developing ASCVD. Following a healthy diet, being physically active, and not smoking can also help reduce your risk of developing ASCVD. If you think you're at risk or may be experiencing symptoms, see your healthcare professional right away. Often symptoms don't show up until a potentially serious blockage occurs. Seek immediate medical attention if you are experiencing any chest pain or discomfort, shortness of breath, sudden weakness or numbness on one side of the body, confusion or difficulty speaking, such as slurred speech or difficulty understanding speech, severe headache, sudden vision changes such as blurry vision, pain, cramping, weakness or burning in the leg when walking, or non-healing wounds on your feet or legs. These are all potential signs of an emergency. ASCVD can be diagnosed by your doctor, and an evaluation for ASCVD may include a physical examination and detailed questions about your medical history. Additional tests may also be needed, like blood work, ultrasounds, electrocardiograms, stress tests, and more. You may also be referred to a cardiologist, neurologist, or other blood vessel specialists. If you've been diagnosed with ASCVD, there are medications that can be used to slow or stop the buildup of plaque. Severe cases of ASCVD may require procedures to open blockages in your arteries or to even go around them. You may also need treatment for any complications that develop from the blockage. Talk to your doctor about what medications or procedures may be right for you. To learn more about heart and blood vessel disease and prevention, talk to your healthcare provider and go to agingresearch.org to learn more about how to decrease your risk.